we can complete the top view by just providing the dark lines let's say this is dark so now that uh, we have AB BC AB is dark BC is dotted CB is dark DA is dark edge OA dark OB edge OC edge OD is dark that's all for the overall picture of the square pyramid we produce the axis also here is a axis so axis line has to be drawn for this so we produce the axis line so we erase whatever we consider as a line press the thumb rule for visibility is very simple we in order to see the visibility of the top view we go to the front view we introduce assume one arrow mark we identify the left extreme corner we assume one horizontal line we identify the right extreme corner we assume another horizontal line we try to view through this direction so we can't go inside this we can't go below these lines so whatever points below these lines they are completely invisible whatever above this line they are visible so as far as this problem is concerned only two lines OA and OD are above these two lines so therefore those two lines are visible other lines are invisible remember edges are always visible outer edges are always visible this thumb rule will not be applicable for outer edges there is again another concept when we have all the faces, almost all the faces, OAD, ODC, OCB, OBA, all the faces are visible, so therefore base invisible. Face visible, therefore base invisible. almost all faces almost all faces visible therefore base there is a possibility base may be invisible so this is the connectivity diagram where you have a to be connected with b b should have connection only with a and c c should have connection with b and d similarly d can be connected with c and a we should not try to connect b and d but O is a common point which has connectivity with all the points O A possible, O B possible, O C possible, O D possible so this is how we have to follow so this is the basic geometry of the square pyramid so the problem is taken in simple step first we have taken the first line square pyramid yes we have drawn the square base side 30 mm so we have to provide that 30 mm here this 30 mm has to be placed so make two dimension lines two projection lines just provide uh, the simple arrow heads and place this 30 here 30 and the axis height is 60 mm so therefore the axis height should also be mentioned so we take uh, the projection somewhere and simplify uh, this height as well right so we have this 60 so this has to be made 60 here is resting on HP so therefore we have drawn the top view first if it is resting on BP this has to be drawn in the front view 
on one of its base side so therefore this is a side position in side position the thumb rule is one side one side should be kept perpendicular to xy let us say here we have ad bc perpendicular to xy we need to have at least one side perpendicular to xy so therefore you have two two points together in the next stage also we can find only two points on xy line problem says resting on hp with one of its base side so therefore find the final stage also only two points should be on xy line next one axis makes an angle 30 degree to hp and parallel to vp it is parallel to vp axis is a straight line a straight line is parallel to vp it has to have true length on the vp you see this is a true axis height the same 60 is available here so therefore it is parallel to vp ensure and it is given it is 30 degree inclined to hp hp inclination is available on vp so in vp we have seen this we have made this 30 instead of making this 30 we have provided 60 because axis and base are at 90 degree this 60 becomes obvious 30 here it's done so therefore this particular answer ensure the exact requirement of this problem